It is 824 on Ontario Morning. Lewis McKenzie is over 70. He's a retired major general with an over 40-year military career. He's best known for leading the UN mission in the former Yugoslavia in the 1990s. Since then, he's run for parliament in Perry Sound, Muskoka, uh, and been a frequent commentator in the media. What you may not know is that he's also a race car driver. I call it a passion. Uh, my wife refers to it as an obsession. So here are the pits. See if, see if it shows up this time. Any number of people have asked me, when are you going to quit racing? I know the difference between excitement and fear. I'm 71 uh, until I put myself in a race car, and then I don't feel any different than I did when I got in a race car in my 30s. That's from the documentary, The General Racing. It premieres at Valley Dock Fest in Pembroke tomorrow night. Fanshaw grad Brendan Culleton is the filmmaker. He joins us now from his home in London. Good morning, Brendan. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Well, thanks for joining us. How long has Lewis McKenzie been racing? You know, that, that is a good question. And he's been racing since about his 30s. But the interesting story behind it is that he was in the military first, and then he was introduced to racing through one of his military friends. And since then, he would tell you that he continued to enlist in the military in order to be able to help fund his racing career, his hobby at the work. His other passion. Yes. <laughs> is he any good? He's very good. Uh, a lot of people will say, given his experience, he is easily amongst the best uh, within his tier. And uh, the interesting thing about the sport of racing is that the entire field consists of all ages. And so Lou McKenzie, who, like you said, he's over 70 years old, he's going up against young guys who are 16, 17, 18 years old, and he is beating them. So I think that goes to say that age isn't an issue, which in itself is a big part of the film, this whole idea of never grow up. What do you think it is that accounts for his success? Uh, again, I, I think experience is a big part of it, but obviously more so than that, I think it's an attitude and obviously being involved with the military, that teaches you a lot about preparation, that teaches you a lot about patience, teaches you a lot about being able to overcome adversity and adapt and overcome and through that, Lou is the type of person where he'll put forth his best effort, but when something bad happens, which is part of the nature of racing, it's his responsibility to continue to move forward. Rather than just saying, like, oh, I quit, I'm going home, racing is a sport that really beats you up. And people will say it's got the really high highs and the low lows. Wow, but his military training helps him stay sort of uh, have that even keel. So um, what kind of car does he drive? What, 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 what kind of racing is this? The movie itself, it, it, it focuses on his racing within the cars that are referred to as F-1600. And uh, the F-1600, they're, they're very, they're, they're one of the older versions, and they're not, the, they're not the car that you commonly see on TV being broadcasted. They're sort of like this behind-the-scenes tier. And uh, they're the ones that are sort of a single pod, and then they have the four wheels that are outside of the pod that are just attached by the uh, thin metal bars. And through that, it just really creates what people will say is some of the most authentic racing within the crew, within the sport um, because it's more so about the driver and uh, less about like the car trying to compensate for any additional uh, speed or anything like that. It's a, it's a really authentic version of racing. Wow. Did it send chills through you shooting this? It was it was quite the experience. Uh, the, the film itself, it takes place over five race weekends in Lou's last full season of racing. So I got to spend a lot of time being on the track and getting to know Lou and also getting to know a lot of his team. The movie itself, it's about Lou and his team. It's about teamwork, which again ties in with the military. But yeah, there, there were moments, and, and you see this in the film, where there are some things where you're just sort of holding your breath and you're just like, because you're in the perspective uh, of the crew of the of the audience who's watching this so there are moments where you're just you, you don't know what's going to happen yeah. and you just sort of have to wait it out so i can only imagine what it would be like for um for some of the, the mothers watching their young sons raising this which is actually part of the story as well care to share a highlight uh, one of the, I, I mean, I think what makes this story really interesting is that uh, as much as Lou puts forth his best effort in this movie, you see that there's just some things that are beyond his control. So 
the movie itself, uh, without even really trying to give a spoiler, it, it, it's not a fairy tale story. Uh, it, it's really about a series of events that continue to go wrong for Lou, but it's, it's Lou's determination and his persistence and his perseverance that is really the focus of the story. And, and ultimately, as a filmmaker, what myself and my team are trying to portray is that this movie isn't when we made this movie, we didn't want it to just be for racing fans. I myself, going into this, I didn't really know a heck of a lot about racing to begin with. So this movie is really something that can be watched by anyone. There's a lot of life lessons. There's a lot of life themes that people can get out of this. And ultimately, what we want people to get out of this is the idea of inspiration and encouraging them to follow their own passions. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, before I let you go, Brandon, briefly, uh, you're not the only Fanshawe connection. Fanshawe President Peter Devlin's in this. What's the connection? <laughs> That's right, that's right. Peter Devlin, the president of Fanshawe currently, uh, we, we, we included him. There, there's an interview of him in the film, and uh, he, he's a great guy, and he happened to be in town when we were filming that. And uh, he's obviously good friends with Lou, so he, uh, he didn't mind stepping on camera and putting in a few good words for him. Uh, Lou, Lou knows a lot of people, so it's really been an honor being able to uh, help tell his story. And obviously, for people who, who do want to find out more about it, this is an independent project, and, and coming out of Fanshawe, this is something that's created through community support. And you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the general racing for more information. There you go. You know how to plug your thing. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Thank you, Wade. Take care. Brendan Culleton is a filmmaker in London. The General Racing premieres at Valley Dog Fest in Pembroke tomorrow night. Part of the proceeds will go to Soldier On, a charity that helps ill or injured soldiers. That's our show for today. Have a wonderful day. Good luck, kids, with the Terry Fox run. I'm Wei Chen. This is CBC News. From CBC London.